I'm not sure how I still have a job. I have been wrong about every single prediction I have made. I'm on the hot seat. I'm on the hot seat a lot like Aaron Boone. Um, I'm on the hot seat a lot like Ryan Tapero who made those comments about the Astros cheating and then the Astros came back today, uh, October 12th, it's a Tuesday, uh, and absolutely waxed them for the Astros to go into the ALCS, the American League Championship. I had Tampa Bay beating Boston and I was wrong. It doesn't matter what Wander Franco did, what Randy Arozarena did, who had a wonderful series. Um, TK Hernandez said, I'm TK. I used to have a sick mustache. I don't anymore. <sighs> Time to show out because it's the postseason. That Tampa Boston series was one. It was just beauty. You know how some people say beauty is in the eye of the beholder? Well, I'll tell you what. If you didn't think that series was beautiful, you need to get become a different beholder. Because that series was amazing. Yes, it only went to four games. It doesn't matter. Game three went into 14 innings. And it was a walk-off home run. And then game four was a Another walk off, and it was just runs and and weird plays in the outfield galore. Um, specific rules for when a ball bounces off the fence onto the ground and onto a player, then off the field. It is a ground rule double. Who would have thought? Not me. Um, I was deathly wrong. I have been deathly wrong about everything. I was deathly wrong about um the St. Louis Cardinals being the team of God because they lost in the wild card. Um, the Dodgers right now are in a very tight series with the San Francisco Giants. Uh, Buster Posey, he's showing out. Brandon Crawford, he's showing out. The Giants are here. They want to win. They want to continue to go up. They're up 2-1 in the series right now. And who the heck was I to Doubt the Los Angeles Doyers. I thought they were washed up. I did not think that they were the team of recent post seasons. I was wrong. Am wrong. Mookie Betts is out here making Mookie Betts type throws. An absolute snipe shot from right field to third base. In game number two, it was the most perfect throw to get the runner out who was trying to advance from second. It was a thing of beauty. It needs to be put in the history books when the history books are motion pictures of just information. And it's like, and on this day in October, you will always remember that Mookie Betts made the most incredible baseball throw in the history of the postseason. Um, Cody Bellinger, while still not super, super, you know, MVP belly, um, he had two stolen bases on Yadier Molina in the wild card game. We're talking about Hall of Famer Yadier Molina, who ends his career with a loss in the wild card right next to Adam Wainwright. What a tough, tough scene. Um, I was just flat out wrong. Chris Taylor has that walk off in the wild card, um, has been a key contributor so far in the Giants Doyers series for the Doyers. Um, Max Scherzer doing Max Scherzer stuff. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I don't, I don't know what's going to happen right now. The American league championship series is set. It is the Boston Red Sox playing the Houston Astros, two of my least favorite teams in all of baseball. I am not happy about that. We're going to take a little uh, mid pod break real quick because a lot of you might be asking, why is the seat to my right empty? Well, 
After the New York Yankees lost to the Boston Red Sox in the wild card, I had a um, come to Jesus moment. Um, I realized that uh, I wasn't doing enough for the team. I wasn't out rooting for them hard enough. And so the only logical thing I could have done and did um, was a sacrifice. And I sacrificed Alex to the baseball gods. Um, I hope it brings the Yankees a World Series next year. Um, but yeah, that's why Alex isn't there. Uh, I needed to sacrifice. He was the closest person in my vicinity, in my parameter. He was within my reach and I gave him a hug and I told him, Hey man, love you to death. Uh, but the Yankees got to win and they didn't. So that is the post segment break. Now let's start diving into a little bit about what's going on in the national league. Um, this Atlanta Milwaukee series is getting spicy. Um, yes, Christian Yelich has not uh, been Christian Yelich that we know. He had a very up and down season. Uh, the Brewers were one of the first, if not the first team to clinch a playoff spot in their division. Um, but they're keeping it tight. It is a uh, Atlanta has a 2-1 lead in that series as of this recording right now. And they are currently playing. Uh, that game, I believe, is... Tied six to six in the bottom of the seventh. I don't have the TV on because I want direct eye contact with all of you. I am here for you. You have my undivided attention. Um, but yes, Max Freed has been an absolute monster. Uh, his start was phenomenal. Shut out. Um, Ian Anderson is just doing weird freak Ian Anderson stuff where he's just going out there and just almost unhittable. Um, but the unsung hero so far for the Milwaukee Brewers this postseason has been a guy by the name of Rowdy Telez. Rowdy Telez was a trade acquisition from the Toronto Young Jays. Uh, Rowdy Telez is a big boy. He knows how to handle himself and he knows how to swing a bat. Um, and he's doing it very well. He's doing. He made a. a he made an awesome play at first base uh, game two uh, for a double play touched first threw down to home two outs saved the run no one on the boards and Rowdy was pumped he was as he should because his name is Rowdy and is there a cooler name than Rowdy Um, I don't think so maybe Ric Flair but In baseball, I don't think there's a cooler name than Rowdy. Um, But that series could end tonight. Could end October 12th. Or maybe the Brew Crew says, hey, uh, we've never won a World Series. We want this one. And if that's the case, watch out because that bullpen is still lethal. Their starting rotation is very, very lethal at any moment Christian Yelich could say hey I won MVP two seasons ago I need to start playing like it and he could absolutely start going wild with it um I don't know I don't know what's going to happen going forward in this postseason because I didn't know anything going into it um again I can't stress that enough I hope you come here for entertainment because uh my predictions are just wrong all the time. I don't know what to say. I don't know who is going to play in the National League Championship Series. I just don't. I would love for it to be the San Francisco uh, San Francisco Giants and the Milwaukee Brewers. But I have been wrong in the past, and I will be wrong again. The Atlanta Braves are probably going to win that series. The Los Angeles Dodgers are probably going to win that series. Um, and then from there... Who knows what's going to happen? I, I don't, I don't, I can't, I can't wrap my head around all of the amazing moments so far in this postseason um, from the almost like game ceiling runs in the Tampa Bay Boston game, uh, game three from Tampa bounced off the wall onto a player. Uh, I mean, sorry. Wall, ground, player, 
off the field, ground rule double. Um, from the magnificent moment that was game three in the Houston Chicago White Sox series, uh, where it was just a clinic of hitting um, from, you know what? I don't know about the Dodgers Giants, uh, besides the fact that the Giants are up. And that's all I care about right now. That's all I care about. I don't want to see the Dodgers in the World Series. I don't. I have Dodgers fatigue. I have Boston fatigue. I have Houston Astros fatigue. You know who I don't have fatigue of? The Milwaukee Brewers. Who are currently in the fight of their life to stay in the playoffs. To stay in the postseason. Who would have thought Atlanta, after losing Ronald Acuna Jr. for the season to an ACL uh, shortly after the uh, trade deadline um, would be where they're at. Jorge Soler has been an absolute monster for them. Freddie Freeman is looking like MV Freeman. That's just what he's looking like this postseason so far. Ozzy Albies hitting from both sides of the plate and playing defense at an amazing level. Austin Riley... I forget Alex isn't there to just give him googly eyes uh, because he's been absolutely killing it. I don't know what's going to happen. All I know is that this has been a ride for the ages. You have seen nothing but clinics on how to approach at bats in key situations. You have seen clinics and how not to handle a uh, post game press conference when you just won your first game of the season only to poke a team who quite frankly regardless that they cheated these guys can still hit the ball and do two days after you make that comment Ryan Tapera um you know saying hey something's funky you know game three we retired they went 0 for 16 against our uh, the Houston Astros went 0 for 16 against our relievers um and you know they only struck out 16 game, uh, times in games one and two back in Houston they have a history of cheating are they doing it still I don't know he didn't say that word for word but you know you get the gist um no one took kindly to that uh Dusty Baker did not take kindly to it Carlos Correa did not take kindly to it Maldonado did not take kindly to it. Those Houston players did not take kindly to those comments. And you know what you get for that, Chicago? You know what you get for that, Ryan Tapera? You get a 10-to-1 butt whipping. That's what you get, and I hate to say it, but you deserve it. You poked the bear. You looked at one of the most dominant teams in the American League and pretty much all of baseball over the past five to six years, and you said, hey, you guys still need help uh, as far as hitting. And you know what? They came out on the road in the south side in your home ballpark and absolutely manhandled you. Who told you it was going to be a good idea? You know who you know who's going to get up your butt? It's going to be Tony La Russa because he's old school. He's old school. He's going to be like, I'll tell you what, man. Why'd you, why, why'd you say that? Why? Why? Look at where we're at now. Get your golf clubs out. You know, you when you make stupid comments and you ask stupid questions, you get stupid answers. And the Houston Astros in game four proved to everyone watching why they are going to the American League Championship Series. Why are they, why they are one of the most feared teams in baseball up and down that lineup they got guys that can hit Bregman Altuve Maldonado everyone uh Miles Straw uh a uh, 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 little guy by the name of Michael Brantley you know they have the AL batting champ Yuli Gurliel playing at first base and you still want to accuse them of stealing signs three years four years after the fact look I get it It weighs heavy on baseball fans' hearts. It weighs heavy on the players' hearts. I can't imagine how just angry some guys still are. But this is the postseason. You have to step up because this is a bigger stage. You have to be the bigger person. You have to realize that you're on the line. 
this next game that you have already played would decide your fate. If you win, you go to game five. If you lose, you're going down to Florida and you're playing golf. And that's exactly what happened. Don't ask stupid questions and expect amazing, an amazing answer. Just don't do it. It's not fair to you and it's not fair to anyone else. So, with that being said, the American League Championship Series, ooh, wasn't a stroke, but it didn't exactly taste good. But, again, with all that being said, the American League Championship Series is set. The Boston Red Sox, Houston Astros, best of seven. I'm not even going to make a prediction. I'm just going to sit down and tune in. I want to see Kike Hernandez continue on his amazing hot streak this October because he has been nothing but phenomenal. I want to see Alex Verdugo keep doing Alex Verdugo type things because he is out there crushing it right now, making phenomenal plays in the field. I want to see Christian Vasquez walk off another game, all right? Because at the end of the day, yes, I hate Boston. I hate Houston. But the one thing I love more than the hate, is a phenomenal baseball game. And this series is going to be the essence of baseball because both these teams, they know how to operate. They know how to operate in the the, uh, uh, strike number, uh, stroke. Uh, That's two strokes in less than 10 seconds. How crazy is that? Um, Both of these teams know how to operate in the batter's box. These guys have some of these batters, have some of the best eyes in baseball. These guys know how to operate in the field defensively. The shifts are on point. The glove work on point. Um, The footwork on point. The pitching matchup is where this series is going to be key. I think Boston's starting rotation is probably a little bit better. Um, You never never count out Zach Greinke, who's just been absolutely wild. Um, I think Boston has the edge as far as starting rotation. Everything else is completely up in the air. I have no idea what's going to happen. In the National League, again, National League Championship Champion Stroke 2, uh, Stroke 3, I'm sorry. The National League Championship Series has not been set yet. Uh, both those teams are playing Tuesday, October 12th. Um, elimination games. If Atlanta wins, they're going to the NLCS. If the Giants win... They're going to the NLCS. I don't know who's going to win those games. I just don't. But I'm going to tune in. I'm going to watch. I'm going to not cheer for any team in particular. I'm just going to cheer for good baseball. I'm going to cheer for one of the most memorable postseasons in recent history because this one has been you have seen games that have scored 12 14 16 runs you have seen extra innings that no runner on second base makes the game go on a little bit longer but it's a little bit more exciting especially if you're a Boston fan and Fenway and Christian Vasquez says see you later and sends one over the green monster Uh, it's just been it's been a phenomenal postseason up to this point I hope it continues this way. I hope there's no more controversy. I hope that we can enjoy baseball in its purest form, which is the postseason. Everything on the line. You're laying it all out on the table, playing with house money. And that's all That's all the postseason is. You're going out there, you're pushing everything into the center, and you're saying, I'm in. My best guys against your best guys. Let's go get it. I want to thank everyone so far for keeping up with the entire season because it is going to end soon. And when it ends, we will all shed a tear in unison. One tear. We won't be we won't be happy that it's gone. Shit. Well, that was an abrupt ending that, uh, man, I was on a barn burner of an outro, so I'm not even going to try and recreate it. Um, Again, 
Thank you. Enjoy the postseason once more. With that, I bid you all an adieu.